Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday, blessed Sunday. Um, I don't really have much to talk about today, so I'm just going to get right into this. And I, I haven't started reading Sherry's deck yet. I'm not sure exactly if I've got it down yet or not. Um, I just don't quite feel it yet. I'm hoping by maybe tomorrow I'll try it. I'm still relying on the old old reliable for right now anyway your card of the day is oh the ten of swords and the ten of swords means The Ten of Swords indicate a major disaster of some sorts. It shows that a certain force of extreme ma magnitude has come to hit you in your life, one that you may not have foreseen. There is a sense of betrayal that is indicated here, for the character is stabbed in the back. This seems to be a reminder that despite how much we try, we cannot control everything. There are certain things that are beyond our ability to change. Here, this situation is unavoidable. The Ten of Swords depicts that situation where your mentality is, poor me. You feel like there is nothing you can do. Pause and remember, as with the Death card, the end of something means a new beginning. Let go of what you have lost and focus on the new path forward, because that is where your life is meant to go. A good example is a breakup with your partner. Though it could be intensely painful, it could also be the beginning of a new sense of independence. Now the love meaning. Unfortunately, the Ten of Swords meaning can indicate a relationship that is coming to its end or a period of time filled with suffering, bitterness, grief, and pain. Likely, the relationship was headed towards failure of some sort and you may well have seen it coming. Sometimes this card can also suggest betrayal, indicating infidelity. While this period of time may be incredibly difficult, you'll need to come to terms with it and accept the inevitable end. Singles may be dealing with similar feelings that have lingered after a past relationship. Only with acceptance can you truly heal and move forward. The worst has happened, and despite how it looks, it can only get better from here. Career-wise, in the worst case, you may be reaching the end of your current job right now, as the Ten of Swords signifies endings and cutting one's connections. Sometimes this card can also suggest that you may be dealing with office politics that have left you defeated. Perhaps colleagues have been spreading gossip. Alternatively, you may have instead been working very hard, pushing yourself to collapse and forced to take a rest. All this may have been necessary for you to grow. When you go forward and heal from this ordeal, think of what you have learned and know that you will survive. Financially, your financial situation may be grim. You may have put your money into something that has not yielded fruit, and you may be dealing with losses right now. Ensure that you cut all expenses related to this, this failing endeavor and instead be cautious about your resources. Avoiding risk can be beneficial for you now. Okay, and let me draw a rune to go with this. I'm just pulling one and laying it down. Oh. And it is C 
Fiegel. With the help of this rune, we tend to be able to see things more clearly, like the sun sheds light on dark times. With this rune, we can too find the light during dark times. It means victory and power abound. It shows you have much potential for power to bring beneficial changes to your life. Swift victory is indicated. Uh, and let's see, it might indicate uh, a health, uh, a recovery, or a strong life force, too. So maybe you'll recover from the Ten of Swords fairly easily and save that situation from being any worse than what it is. All right. I hope that made some sense to somebody. All right, and let's see. I'm working on uh, another video. I've got to... Uh, I still have work to do on it. I've got the footage taped and stuff, but uh, I still have work to do. But I'll get that out as soon as possible. And... Um, I just have all sorts of things planned, and now it's just a matter of having the time to do it all. Anyway, hope you all have a blessed Sunday. Peace. Believe. And bye-bye. But in this case, the reversal doesn't really mean anything. Uh,